Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Brianna Ross at the Office and Events Coordinator here at the Small Business Center in the Belleville area. Um, we have today Shay from Simple Desk. She is here to chat about uh, four great apps for your business to help uh, keep you organized. And she'll explain a little bit more throughout her presentation. Um, just a few housekeeping rules like I already mentioned before. Just a reminder, everyone, please stay on mute. If you have any questions at all, please direct them to the chat. And I think we'll just get started and I'll pass it over to Shay. Awesome. All right, so let me just get the presentation up here. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Can everybody see this okay? Yeah, we're great. Okay, lovely. Okay, so hey, everybody. Um, thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, my name is Shay, as Brianna had mentioned, and uh, I'm the client manager at Simple Desk. Um, in today's session, I'm going to talk to you guys about four different apps um, that I think that every small biz business owner should be using. Um, that being said, every business owner does have different needs um, and different things that they need to achieve. But these are four applications that hold key characteristics that I think are very important for every business owner. Um, some of those include things like saving you time, keeping you accountable, keeping you organized, and keeping your business profitable. Um, and if these are things that are important to you, which I'm willing to bet they probably are, um, you're going to love these apps. So um, before we dive into that, I just want to talk a little bit about myself and Simple Desk. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm the client manager at Simple Desk. Um, Simple Desk, to start off talking about Simple Desk itself, we're a small business outsourcing solutions uh, company. We offer solutions at an affordable price for small business owners. Um, we have packages and we have ad hoc options. So we're very flexible in working with people that are just starting out and people that are really in the game already. Um, we take things off your plate, such as copywriting and blogging, SEO, virtual assistance, expense tracking, coaching, funding applications, pretty much anything that has to do with your business that you need to have done, but aren't necessarily passionate about, or maybe don't know how to do, will take off your plate. Um, myself, as a client manager, I take care of our existing clients. I make sure that while you're with us, you're happy and your goals are being met. And I also network and build new business relationships with people in the area. Um, outside of work, I'm a cat mom and I absolutely love baseball. So you'll probably catch me either hanging out with my cat or playing baseball in the local area. Um, I've been in the customer service and sales industry for about 13 years now. Um, and I've worn many different hats during that time. But ultimately, after I've started with Simple Desk, I've realized that this company and the vision that we have for helping our clients is really where I want to be. So to dive into the apps, um, we're going to talk today about four different applications, as I've mentioned. So these are the four apps right here. Wave is the first one. Um, we're going to go over how it can help you with accounting um, and invoicing right from your phone. It's really quick and easy. We're going to talk about Google Calendar. We're going to talk about how it can help you organize your schedule and stay on time. We're going to go over Calendly which is going to be a meeting scheduler that also has multiple options for integrations with other applications that you might be using already within your business. And we're going to talk about Canva, which is going to go over content creation and inspiration for your business. So the first app that we're going to go over today is Wave. So what is it and what do they offer? So first of all, Wave Accounting was created in 2010 um, in actually a really small shared workspace with only eight people at the time. Um, between 2010 and 2019, they expanded to well over 500,000 customers, and they've launched accounting, invoicing, payment processing, advisors, meaning that you can get a personal advisor for your accounting right from their website. Uh, and they offer a new feature called Wave Money that's just launching this last year, sorry. Um, they're primarily free. So the main features that I'm going to talk to you guys today about are going to be things that you can apply within your business that are completely free for you to use. Um, they also offer more advanced features like employee tracking, payroll processing, and customer processing. And they all come at a really affordable rate. Best news about them, in my opinion, is they're also Canadian. So woohoo for that. <laughs> 
So depending on which pieces of wave you choose to use, you'll find that there's going to be immediate benefits right away. Um, It is inevitably going to save you time and stress during tax season. Um, When you use wave, because it is primarily an accounting service, you're going to be making sure that you enter all of your um, expenses and all of your sales. And all of this is going to be done in a really automated way, which I'm going to go over a little bit further with you as we get into the, the webinar. But at tax season, once once you've got a full year of this under your belt, you're going to be able to export a report and move on from tax season and not have to worry about it. And I know that if I talk to each of you individually, you've probably seen a tax season where it was stressful and it was weeks of getting paperwork together and scrambling. This eliminates that entirely. It also is very um, high, high level security. They have high level security on their website and on their application. So it's really, really safe in protecting your sensitive financial information. Nobody's going to be able to get access to this without being able to jump through a lot of different security hoops. And only you can give access to certain other people that are not yourself. Um, it's really easy to sign up. It's little with little to no accounting knowledge. You can have a full bookkeeping service set up within minutes. Really, you just have to set up your email and a password and start entering your income and expenses. It also offers a huge variety of reports, tracking and integration with your bank and credit cards. So these are options that are on the website that are not a part of the app that I'm going to go over today, but I do have more in-depth information that I can provide anybody after the webinar regarding the website if you're interested in knowing more. Um, So now what we're going to talk about next is downloading the app and what it looks like. So right here where this little circle is on the screen, this is what the application looks like. You can download this app on any smartphone. Um, It's going to be available on an iPhone or an Android uh, on your app store or in the Play Store. Uh, And this is what the icon looks like right here. It's their little symbol and it says invoicing. So as soon as you tap that icon, Um, you're going to have access to the application. Before we get further into how to use that application, I just want to talk a little bit more about what using this app is going to do for you and what makes it really worth it. So having this app on your phone, and I know we've got tons of different apps. We don't want to download another one that isn't going to necessarily be worth the space on our phone. So this one in particular allows you to on the spot, sorry, on the spot, create invoices for your clients. So let's say you are out and about and a client comes up to you and says, oh, you know what? I, I, I really want to set up a session with you, a coaching session or, you know, a meeting or something along those lines. You can bring up your invoicing app right there. You can set up your appointment. You can go ahead and set up the invoice, create your due date, send it off via email. And all of that transaction is already done on your phone. That way your client goes off, they know what time they're set up for their appointment, they know exactly how much it's going to cost and when it'll be, and they have the means to be able to pay it right away. You can personalize your invoices, which is really, really cool. You have the option to go in and add your logo, you can add a little header so you can greet your clients, you can explain your products and services, you can add a thank you at the end, anything you'd like. You can personalize it and that's completely free. Not a lot of applications that you can use within a business world or business realm have free features like personalization. So I think that this is really cool because no one's going to know you're using a third-party app. They're going to think that you are smart enough to create these things all on your own. The next thing is you can send out automatic reminders on overdue invoices. So you can set it up so that when you send this invoice to your client, if they don't make a payment within seven days of the due date, you can have a reminder automatically go out. That way, any missing income that you were accounting for, someone the automation is already going out and requesting that someone pay that invoice so that you get the funds that you're owed. The next thing that I want to go over is uh, just to dive back into the the website a little bit further because the app, the app, everything you put into the application will funnel into your backend profile on the website. It's going to give you financial forecasting so that you can make more informed business decisions like cash flow reports, profit and loss reports, payable reports, income reports, and expense breakdowns. So as you go through and you start setting up these invoices for your clients and receiving money or, you know, um, 
uh, having, let's say, overdue invoices or you put in your expenses and things like that, you're going to start to see that these reports on the back end of the website fill out and show you more data about your own business. So I've talked a lot about the website, but I haven't really showed it to you. We're going to kind of dive back and forth between the two because the app really is just the, the main simple piece that you can use within your business. The website is the more in-depth integrated side of things that's going to give you all of the information that you've entered in the application. So when you go onto the website on your computer, you'll see that you've got a dashboard all of the information you've entered for your sales are, is going to show in your charts right here on your main dashboard. So you'll see here as time goes on that you've got months of data and you can see how your business is growing and how well it's doing. The reports that you have access to that we had gone over just a little bit before, you'll see here that you've got the options for cash flow. So this is going to be just your main primary cash flow income outcome or in, in going and outgoing, my apologies. And you have the report for 12 months, 24 months, or if you click the view report option, you also have the ability to set your own dates. So let's say you've only got about three months worth of data in there. You can view report, choose whatever time frame you want and see how your business has been scaling over that time frame. Again, these reports down here, Pretty self-explanatory, they're payables and owing, net income and expense breakdown. So you're gonna get a lot of really great insight about your business the more that you make sales. Now, to go back to the application. On the application itself, the, the simplest way to create an invoice is adding in a client. You add a customer by clicking this little plus button right up in the corner. It's gonna take you to this next page here where you add in their basic information, their name, their email, or their, their, sorry, their business name and their email, their first and last name, and any other contact information you might find important. Once you've added them as a client, you can create an invoice for them. To do this, you need to add in your items that you sell. Now this page says items, but Wave is really great at helping people spell items, products, services, any of the above. When you hit the plus button here, you're gonna see the option to put in whatever product and service you sell, the price, the tax rate, and the applicable income account. Again, all of this information being entered is all back-end stuff that's going to translate into the reports that give you information about your business. Now that you have a client and an item, you simply choose the date that you'd like to make the sale, when the payment will be due, and these are the options you have available, which customer you're selling the item to and which item you're selling, and then it'll automatically populate the subtotal and the total. These options down here are the paid options that I had mentioned previously, where you have the ability to enable payment processing. Wave does offer this as a part of their application, but it is a paid portion of the application. So this typically is skipped for those who wanna just use the free options. If your customer is going to send your payment to you right away, you can go ahead and hit record payment and it's automatically going to show that you made that sale in your overall reconciliation at the end when you take a look at your reports. If you see here, when you go to actually send out this receipt, you'll see that you can change the email that the receipt is coming from. You can update the email that the receipt is going to. For example, if the, the purchase was for a friend or a family member, you can send that, the email to that person instead of the one purchasing it. You can also include, a, oh, my apologies. You can also include a personalized message thanking the client for, your, for their service. Um, and you can add in sending a copy to yourself so that you've got a paper trail. And you can also add a PDF. I like to add a PDF to everybody's invoice because I find it's easy for people to keep track of their own invoices if I send a separate piece like that. Once you have these pieces set up, you're on your way to income. The best thing about using Wave is that once you have all of those backend pieces working together, you've actually created your own customized bookkeeping system that will not only have you ready for tax season, but it's going to give you the ability to view where your business was, where it is now, and where it's headed financially in the future. And I think that that's really invaluable. 
So the next app, we're going to move on real quick here into the next application. And I do just want to say in between each and every one of these, if any of this information um, isn't as in-depth as you were hoping for in terms of just, just different specific pieces of these applications, always feel free to reach out to myself. I'll give you all my contact information at the end um, to ask more specific questions. And I am a wealth of knowledge about these apps. I am more than happy to share information. So the next app we're gonna get into guys is Calendly. Um, it was founded in 2013 by Tope Awatwana, um, and he had the intention of just taking the busy work out of scheduling meetings. He found that he was spending a lot of his time going out and trying to make these meetings and schedule them and rebook them and cancel them. And it was taking a ton of time off of his plate or a ton of time out of his day. It's primarily a free application. It mostly, um, all of the features are completely free other than things like the customized links. Um, so it's gonna allow you to create your own scheduling calendar. You can set your own availability and you can share your link with people outside of your organization um, that'll be able to book meetings with you within seconds. It also integrates seamlessly with a ton of different mail apps to make sure that you're not double booking yourself. So if you use another mail application or a calendar application for personal appointments, it can integrate together and ensure no double booking. So we're just going to quickly go over what it looks like on the phone here. Um, so if you download the app from the App Store or the Play Store, again, you can get this on both Android and iPhone, you'll see here that this is what the application looks like. As soon as you open it up, again, it's a very quick and simple sign up. All you need is an email and set up a password and you're in. It's going to go over how to check your schedule. And it's also going to go over how to book specific event types. This over here that I'm circling on the screen, this event type is for things like if you have um, a group meeting set up, if you have a consultation session, tons of different options can go under different event types that are already preset for people to book themselves into. This option in the middle is an ad hoc meeting. So if somebody just comes up to you and says, hey, I'd love to book a meeting with you, you can send them your link and book a meeting on the spot wherever your availability is. Whereas this is specific to events or different appointments and things like that. Once you have your meeting set up, you'll see that there's, it's really, really easy to share them and that there's multiple different options for setting up your different uh, meeting types. So what we have here on mine in particular, I've set up a 15 minute meeting type for phone calls, a 30 minute meeting type and a 60 minute meeting type. My clients can choose between how much time they feel they need with me, depending on what type of information they're looking for with, from me that day. To be able to share these links to my clients, all you have to do is click one of these links really, really simple. So clicking this button will actually just copy the general calendar link to your clipboard on your phone. It'll pop up a little button that says copied and each and every one of these have that option. So if you wanna quickly send someone an option to choose a 30 minute meeting with you, you click there, paste it in their message and you're on your way. This option over here is a single use link. This one is specific for events. So if you have a meeting coming up where you wanna invite 10 people, exclusively those 10 people, you can give them a single use link to sign up for their spot at your event, and then it expires immediately after. That way you can control the number of people or who is coming to that event. The last option is share. So if you wanna just share that calendar with absolutely anybody and everybody and get your, get your availability out there for people to book with you, you can hit that share button and you're gonna see that you have options to share to your email, multiple different social media platforms, text messages, and more. It's really, really handy and really, really easy to use, and it's going to fill up your time with important meetings. So Calendly is a huge benefit, in my opinion, because it really allows you full control over when your day starts, when it ends, and when you see clients. It also places the responsibility of booking, canceling, and rescheduling on your clients so that they're responsible for making sure that they're there for your time. That way, if anything comes up and they have to cancel, they have the freedom to do that. And you don't have to do the busy work of going in between and rescheduling that appointment with them.
You can quickly share your calendar link on many different platforms, and there's multiple different meeting and event types to choose from. So it's very customizable. There's automations you can set up so that when a client books with you, it'll automatically send out certain messages to them, thanking them or preparing them for the meeting, providing them different tools and resources that they may need to have at the meeting. And there's integrations with several different apps as well that allow you to combine your, your calendar together with things, um, with things that'll help make that experience even better for your client. The availability, your availability is always up to date. So you never have to worry about having someone book on a time that you're not technically available because it's always up to date for you. The free, the free features that they have are amazing to begin with. But if you wanted more customized features, like a specific link that says your name or your business name and doesn't include the word Calendly, um, or if you want collective event types and workflows, you do have to pay for the premium features. But they are, again, at a very affordable rate. And in my opinion, very much worth it. I just want to go over a little bit of the integrations that Calendly goes over or goes goes together with. Sorry, because they the things that Calendly will integrate with will actually make many facets of your business work smoothly together. So, for example, if you have other calendars, as we discussed previously, like Google Calendar or Outlook Desktop, anything else that maybe has some personal appointments in it, you can integrate those calendars together so that you're not going in and saying, I've got a doctor's appointment on my Google Calendar, but I've got a client appointment on my Calendly one. All of your business and personal appointments will come together and work perfectly. The, best, the next best piece is marketing tools. You can put your Calendly link in with your marketing tools so that anything that you want to send out to your clients in terms of resources, lead magnets, promotions, anything like that can go along with any Calendly link or promotion or sorry, uh, appointment that you get booked. Um, it also has the option for PayPal and Stripe. Payment processors are a big one. Not every website has access, has the ability to integrate payment processors. And when you're booking appointments, a lot of times your appointments are going to come at, are going to be at a cost. Because your time is valuable, you wanna be able to make sure that you're, be, you're getting paid for it. So having the ability to combine PayPal and Stripe with your Calendly link is really helpful in, in also getting you paid. So the next application that we are going to talk about today, guys, is Google Calendar. Um, this one I really love because it is completely free. No, there's no but if ands or buts about this one. You can use this and it is totally free. In 2006, it was launched as a time management and organizational service, um, and it was created by Google. So it works seamlessly with all the other Google applications that you may already be using. It's again, like I mentioned, a 100% free to use app. All you need is a Gmail email address to sign up and it in integrates with your Calendly like we had mentioned before. So all of your client meetings are plotted into your calendar automatically for you and you don't have to go ahead and do that yourself. It doesn't allow scheduling conflicts and it readily notifies you if you're double booked. So you will get an error notification that will pop up if anything comes up and you're attempting to double book yourself, it will let you know and it won't allow that to happen. It'll easily schedule in personal appointments and breaks so that you can work so that you can work around your own schedule and make sure that you're still taking care of your own personal health. You can also easily share this calendar and schedule with your family and friends and colleagues. I just want to take a look or give you guys a look at what a blank calendar looks like, because I know that in the past I've gone to set up a calendar and I've been super overwhelmed with the things I've had to put in there. And instead of filling it out, I just look at this and I close the page. I want to go over a few steps with you about the best way to plot out your calendar so that it's not overwhelming. So this is what a blank calendar looks like on Google. You can see here that the holidays are already plotted out for you. And you've got some calendar, some uh, categories here that you can actually check and uncheck. If you were to click this holidays in Canada checkbox, it would actually take away all of the already plotted um, dates. So we would be able to see a completely blank calendar and start from scratch. What we're gonna do 
to fill out a new calendar, like I said, can be super overwhelming. So your top priorities when starting to build the calendar are going to be these. First, write down your to-do list. Write down the most important things that you need to get done in the next month. Create categories in your Google Calendar that coincide with those different things and tasks that you need to get done. This is all going to be on a separate piece of paper at first. The first thing that you're going to do in your actual calendar is plot in your non-negotiables. Those are going to be things like your personal appointments, um, anything that you may have uh, committed to in any way, shape, or form, whether that's personal or business, client appointments you already have coming up, payment dates and things like that, things you absolutely cannot negotiate on and cannot miss. Once you've put those in, plot in time for breaks and lunches and time to check emails and phone calls. These are things that can get away from us. Breaks and lunches when we're working from home, especially, are far too easy to just say, you know what? I'm just going to work through it. Never mind. But it's really important to stay accountable and to also stay productive. Taking breaks and lunches is good for you. Checking your emails and phone calls is another thing that can get away from us, but in another way. Oftentimes we'll check emails and we'll find that an hour has passed and we haven't picked up the topic that we, that we put down to start the email. I found that when we don't keep track of the time that we're doing that we're taking to do emails and phone calls, we can end up spending two to three more time, th three more times more longer than we need to actually get these things done. So plotting these things into your calendar is a really great way to stay accountable for your time and stay organized. The last thing that you're going to do. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to, I have a question here. I, sure. What's the difference between a Google calendar and the Outlook calendar? So the Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar really are just um, the difference between the email address that you have. Um, there isn't huge, huge difference in terms of the capabilities. The, the look and the feel of it are very similar, um, but there really isn't very big differences there. Was there a specific thing you were hoping to use one of them for that maybe I could help give you a better uh, suggestion about? We'll wait and of course, yeah, not a problem. She said no. No, okay, yeah, so in that case, really, it's all about preference then. Um, I love Google because I find that there are a ton of different free um, features that come with it, whereas Outlook is, it, it's Microsoft-based and Microsoft does have a lot of paid features. So. I guess the biggest difference I would say is that, that that's going to be your biggest difference would be the price, um, the potential price that you could see. Um, but yeah, both of them really are very similar in terms of the functionality and it really comes down to look and feel, whatever your preference is. So now that we have got our non-negotiables and our breaks and lunches and email and phone calls plotted in, we're going to start integrating our Calendly because preferably you're going to use Calendly for all of your client appointments. Once you integrate this, you're going to have, you're going to have your non-negotiables. You're going to have your lunches and breaks. You're going to have time to check your phone calls and emails. You're going to have all of your client appointments in there. And then what you'll have left is more availability. You'll be able to see where you have time to do different tasks you may have that you didn't think you had time for before or to book other clients in and, and ramp up that business even further. Was there any other questions about uh, the email that came up at all, Brianna, before I move on? Yes, uh, I was asked if, if it integrates with Zoom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say both Google Calendar and Outlook. Yes, that's correct. Yes, they both integrate with Zoom. Oh, wow. That's Yes, yeah, it's very, very handy that way too. So if you guys use, use Zoom very often, um, integrating with Zoom is a great idea because again, if you've got people scheduling meetings for you, right into that calendar and then a notification on your phone and you know if you've got an appointment. Well then. Well, yes. Okay. I don't, I don't know how often I've been out and about and been like, whoop, we've got an appointment coming up in 15. <laughs> well then, okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. well, thank you. That's Absolutely. good information for me too. Oh, by for the sure. time... The time is in there, no work time, owners up to midnight. I'm by sorry? the time, by, 
by the time all that is in there oh no no work time owners up till midnight (laughs) Yes. Yes. And you know what? That's a really great point. And that is exactly why simple desk exists. We I'm telling you about all these great features because I think that they're going to be really, really handy for you to use for sure. And it definitely is going to save you time. But if you find that you're integrating all of these different features and things like this, and you're still up till midnight, you're still overwhelmed. You still have way too much going on. It's time to reach out to somebody like simple desk and have us take that stuff off your plate. Because ultimately we exist so that you can focus on your passions while we take all of those other facets of your business that you know you have to have done, but you don't necessarily want to do. We get them done for you in a timely fashion and you don't have to worry about it. So you can spend time with your kids. You can go to bed at at a decent hour or watch some Netflix. That's what we're here for. Um, And that's why we use these features and love to share this information with people because we know that they're time savers. But again, if you're still overwhelmed, that's what we're here for. So the next and last, I guess, app that we're going to be talking about today is Canva. Um, I absolutely love Canva. The story behind this company is amazing. Uh, Melanie Perkins founded this company in 2013, and she is uh, she's Australian. She lives in Perth. Um, She was a kite surfer and she started out this business as a yearbook design company. Literally within a couple of years, she has turned this company into a worldwide name with over 20 million users in 190 countries and has the best freemium options ever. When I say that their their free options are second to none, I've never seen anything in my life as good as this and also free. There's hundreds and hundreds of free elements, shapes, designs, photos, fonts, audio, logos, templates, layouts, everything that you could possibly need to create marketing for your business is there and free. They have paid options. They have pro and premium features that you may want to look in and invest in as well. But when I say you can create an entire branding logo and marketing campaign off of the free features in here, I'm not lying. You definitely can. There's pre-formatted layouts, so you don't have to know what size and shape certain things need to be for different platforms. You simply choose an Instagram layout, a YouTube layout, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera, and it's going to give you the exact dimensions that you need so that when you save that file and you go to upload it on your social media, it's going to look flawless and it's going to fit perfectly. They offer animations. They offer a wide variety of document types that you can save your work in from small to large, high quality copies. And they actually even allow you to order prints right from their website. So if you design something that you absolutely adore and you want it on the wall of your office, you can go ahead and order a print right from their website as well. That option isn't free, albeit, but designing is. It's amazing the features that they offer. And we use, we within Simple Desk use this on, every day. Um, You're able to get away with the completely free version and still create amazing looking content. You can do this right from your phone even, which is really cool too. So again, same as all the others, uh, a little app that you download from the iPhone or app store on your Android uh, or iPhone. And again, just a simple email address and a password. You can even use your Gmail address that you might have used to set up your Google Calendar and it'll all integrate together yet again. Once you've signed in, you'll see exactly what I was talking about here. Instagram post, this is just for your standard Instagram post. This is gonna be one for your stories, your logos, posters, Instagram stories. The options are endless. Once you select one of the design types, you're gonna see these options. So this is where it gets fun you'll see that you've got, you can type in any, any description you'd like, and you'll get a bunch of options, but already right off the hop, it'll show you things that have recently been used, different shapes and graphics, photos and videos you can add, and all of them will indicate to you whether they're free or not. So as you can see here, a majority of what you're looking at is free. Only about three or four of these actually have to be paid for. And the options it continues on like that are endless. These ones are completely free. You see here, there's no pro option. So all of these things here, you can design within the limits of these these options and make your own 
creative special design and it's free. The best, next best part about it as well is that you can add in different styles and audio. You can add in videos that you may have recorded yourself. You can add in different backgrounds and charts. There's so many different options. It's so, there's, it, it's so involved in what it has available that I could talk about it for days. <laughs> um, this as well is one of my favorite parts. So once you've created something, I don't know if anybody here has created something on an application on their phone before, but a lot of times you get to the end and you go to save it and it goes, oh, you got to pay for this. Not with this. When you go to share this, you can share to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, MailChimp, Pinterest, LinkedIn, any scheduling app you have, all of these other apps down the right-hand side here, all of it completely for free and very, very easy. You just click a button and it sends it on its way. The simplicity behind creating your own logo, your own designs, having a part in making sure that people see your story through your creations makes you feel that much closer to your business. And I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to contact me at the email address you see on the website or pop them in the chat right now and I am free. Yes, free premium to nonprofits. Just going to end this recording here and then you can have, um, you can ask as many questions either in the chat or in person. Yeah, absolutely. Or I guess not in person, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>